Another day, another record number of arrivals at this migrant center on the edge of the Darien jungle. Exhausted men, women and children get in line to get registered by Panamanian authorities. Most have come from Venezuela, Haiti or Cuba. Others have traveled from as far away as China and Sudan, hoping to reach the United States. Some can barely stand after suffering injuries in their treacherous journey. Those with a $40 for a bus ticket to the border with Costa Rica get ready to leave. Others like Angeline Castillo and her sick five-year-old daughter are pondering their next move. She says they were robbed in the jungle and barely survived. We had to ask people for a piece of cracker for my little girl and a little water as sometimes we ran out. I felt exhausted before reaching the first canoe. I had no more strength, but I prayed to be able to continue for my children. For years, a growing number of migrants have been forced to pay criminal groups to cross the Darien jungle between Colombia and Panama. Nobody knows how many have died trying. Panamanian authorities say their numbers have more than doubled this year. 70,000 people in August alone. They expect to reach 450,000 arrivals by the end of the year. A number that is overwhelming Panama's capacity to process them and also polluting the once pristine jungle with... We're confronting the biggest migration phenomenon in the world and we're trying to do it in the most responsible way but we're also inviting the rest of the countries involved, the origin, transit countries like ours and the destination to jointly share responsibilities. In April, the United States, Panama and Colombia agreed to try and crack down on the smuggling rings that bring the migrants through the jungle. But Panama says that due to a lack of information sharing and of joint action on part of Colombia, nothing has happened. Some migrants here say they didn't understand how dangerous the trek was going to be and warn others. I saw Nepalese, Syrians, Asians, Africans, people from all over. Please don't take this risk. The fact that some of us make it through unarmed, thank God, is not enough. Don't do it. I saw people getting shot. Everything in that jungle can kill you. But fleeing conflict and the dream of a better life remain irresistible for many migrants ready to risk it all in a crisis that continues to grow. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Panama. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.